Something you want to think about is uh, these springs are under a little bit of pressure. Uh, so if you can, go ahead and disassemble the shock and take out the spring. And just make sure you're very careful when you do this. Hey everybody, Monkey Films here. And today, uh, just finished uh, modifying some parts so I can put a new uh, shock tower here on the Thor. So this is the old one. I went ahead and taped it up uh, but basically uh, the front shock tower I guess you want to call it uh, these side pieces broke off right here and from what I've read that's a pretty common uh, break on a Nico Thor so my first thought was to uh, use some existing parts I had lying around I saw this one it was too big but looking at this part I thought gosh I know I have something similar so what I was able to do was uh, this is from a Tamiya TT01. Uh, this is a, I believe this is the front, um, a body post. Um, your body posts go in right here, and this goes down on the front. Uh, so you could call it like a front shock tower or front uh, body mount. And uh, I drilled two holes right here, which you can see right there. Not sure how well you can see them, but I just drilled two holes to match the two holes on here and let's see if it works my screws may not be long enough uh, but that's all right i just want to see if it'll fit let's go ahead and try to put a screw through it and see uh, how it does well yeah i may have to uh make a little bit bigger hole for the screws here but let's go ahead and put a screw in and see if it'll work again these this is uh off of a tamia TT01. If you're looking for this part, okay, let's put the screw all the way in. As you can see, it's just barely sticking out the back there. May have to switch to a longer screw, which is okay. I've got lots of screws. Um, and then, uh, what I'm going to do is I used to have pins that the shocks would clip to, but instead I had these uh, body posts um, that happen to go right with this part. Sorry, let me get into focus here. So, um, as you see this short body post that just goes in right there, like so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mount this in here, and then I'm going to stick this. Uh, let's see, how did I have this? Gonna stick this in there. It's a uh, square hole. Ah, there we go. And then I'm um, gonna have that running backwards, and I'm gonna have my shock clip right onto there. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. So far, I've got the holes in, and uh, now I just gotta find a screw that's long enough. So bear with me just one second and see if I can find one. Okay, we've got our holes drilled. They're right there and right there. Okay. Okay, this is it finished and got new springs on here. These are uh, team associated uh, springs up front here and kept the original shock on this side and then have uh, a different friction shock on the side which came from uh, just my parts bin. I, unfortunately, sorry to say I don't know uh, the parts for that one uh, but I, I do know the springs that'll work um, and I'll put the link in the comments below uh, or in the information below and as you can see uh, these are the new red springs and we'll go ahead I'll show you the suspension action here there we go that's all the way up that's all the way down there it is go to the other side okay this is that's all the way up a little bit of binding but uh, I think that'll get broken in actually it feels like it just did Binding's gone. Great. 
and there you go. There it is, pretty sturdy. Tested out a few times and pretty happy with the results. Uh, so this is Mulkey Films. This is how to repair your front shocks on Nico Thor. If you like what you see, go ahead and click subscribe and help support the channel. If you have any questions or even a request uh, on something to do on the Thor or another RC, send me a note in the, the comments below. And thanks for watching.